Welcome everyone to another video and today I'm going to show you how to use multiple GPUs for one POS using CLI Post. That's right, you hear me well. Multiple GPUs for one POS. Let's get started. Okay, let's do some preparation first. Let's start with um, uh, downloading the CLI software, you can go to GitHub. I'll leave a link on the description and go to releases and download for whatever platform you're in. Save it and uh, unzip, and I have my folder here CLI. Next thing is we need to unlock PowerShell with the um, scripts. So um, find PowerShell on your computer, run as an administrator. Now we're going to put this command like so. Press enter. And we'll ask you, are you sure you want to disable the ex execution policy? I choose A for all. I think it's better because if not, when you restart, we'll ask you the same thing again. A and done. That's it. You can close that. And another important thing is you need to disable your integrated graphic cards. This is because CLI will use the graphic cards as well. So make sure you go to device manager. If you have integrated cards, disable your device. And next thing is we go to contributors website and uh, we have two scripts, one for Linux, one for Windows. Mine is Windows. So we're gonna copy that. Already have mine here. Copy. And let's go through the, the variables. So number of GPUs is whatever cards you have. Does not count the integrators because we just disabled that. So in my case, two. Committed um, ATX ID. This is the same for everyone. It's a golden ATX ID. So it's the same for everybody. And you can get this on this code, but I also leave uh, on the description so you can just copy. Node ID. Now, this is different for everybody. If you don't have one, you need to create one with um, Go Smash. It's like I, I showed in my previous video. You just go to your hard drive, create a folder. Let's call it test. And then we use Go Smash Map to create that ID. Use the same parameters. We start. Here we go. Test that ID. Cancel that and then you can see now I have a node ID, all this. Just put that on your script. One problem I encounter while running this script is everything needs to be in decimal numbers. So if you find any problems while running the script, you just go to your key.bin file. And if you have notepad plus plus you just need to select the last 64 digits just keep selecting and at the bottom you will be able to see how many digits you selected just copy that and put on your script labor per unit leave it as it is because because this only works if you have a two gigabyte POS files okay you can see they all around 2 gigabyte each. Number of units. Number of units is going to be how many terabytes you want. So I'm doing 93 which is about 5 terabytes. As always is um, each unit has got uh, 64 gigabytes and you need a minimum of 4. The only thing here is we need to change is the path in here. I find it easier than using the environment variables. So if you just open your file here, you got 
post CLI, just copy this and then fill the rest with exe. Now important, one, encoding. Save with uh, UTF-8 boom and save file as whatever name you want to call plus PS1, okay? This is important to run PowerShell scripts. Save it and close it. Now I'm going to cancel my production here just to show you. To start the script, we just run PowerShell, add file and point to the file you just create. Mine is mine.ps1. Start. And it's really that simple once you know what you're doing. So as you can see here, uh, here we go, using one graphic cards and using another graphic cards. Will also tell you all the details you need, like the the folder just created, and uh, I think it says somewhere selecting one provider from two a variable, and we can check that on um, test manager. We can see both cards working really hard. And uh, as you go, your post file will be created. Keep an eye on it, make sure everything is just working. The way it works is um, one graphic card will create, uh, for example, from zero to 750. And the other one will create, on this case, from 1509 to 751. So one goes on plus, the other one goes on reverse. One important thing I should mention is um, CLI is only to create the POS. After the creation is finished, you still need to run Ghostspace Mesh to create the proof and start mining. Do not forget that. As always, if you have any doubts, pop into Discord. There's a whole community there, guys. And um, if you have any questions, leave me a, a comment. And I'll see you next time.